hey, hey, hey. Donnie Bada Bing. Horse Racing Nation Breeders' Cup Weekend. Something many of us have been waiting for. All decked out here in my purple. At least I'm going to look the part. Hey, I'm here to talk about Late Pick 4, ending with the Breeders' Cup Classic. Let's jump right in with the mile. Going to give you angle in the mile in the juvenile. Now the mile, aptly named, one mile on the turf. Pace is going to make the race in here. You have a number of horses that want to be either on the lead or close to it. Those horses are starting with the rail out. Midnight Storm, Heart to Heart, Mr. Rory, World Approval, Home of the Brave, Roly Poly, Black Jack Cat, and Carrar. I think only two are going to hang around for the end. One of them is number five, World Approval. Lights out at a mile. Four or five stakes wins this season. Ran away from the field in the Woodbine Mile last out. Have to include. And number 14, Carrar. The opposite here. Really awful last race. I just like him for some reason. He's way outside. He's going to have to find a position, not get caught three or four wide on that tight Del Mar turf. But he's in my bets. Now, for the closes. Number eight, Suda. Loved him in the Shadow Ball Turf Mile last out at Keeneland. Love him again here. Number 11, Bala Rocks. He's always around it. Doesn't rack up the wins. But with a little racing luck and bad luck for some others, I'm willing to put him in here at 15 to 1 or greater. And let's say it together now. Um, yes, number 7, Ohm. Closed well into the turf sprint last year in the Breeders' Cup. He's going to close again. Again, he's going to need some luck. He's going to be some hefty odds. It's going to give you some prices if you get him in there on the pick four. Let's hope he does. Now with the juvenile. Actually, before the juvenile, what you didn't hear in the mile, no Ribchester. He's not in my pick. Favorite's not in. Now, with the juvenile, I went back and forth on both the Oro number 11. Wasn't going to include him. I'm going to include him defensively. I mean, he could be something special. Could be next year's Kentucky Derby favor on the first Saturday in May. But you know what, two, two-year-olds, they don't always just progress, 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 progress. Sometimes they regress. And if he regresses a little and another horse progresses a little, they could be on equal terms in the final 16. Those horses, I believe, that could be. Number five, free drop Billy. Tip of the cat to zip at the track. Pick this horse out of 11,000 yearlings to say he could be something special. And he is. Won the Breeders' Future at Keeneland last out. He's in my bet. Number seven, the tabulator. Don't see a lot of Larry Ravelli trained horses in the Breeders' Cup. I think he's here for a reason, and he's tactical. He's in the bed. Number 12, Hollywood star Dale Roman's other trainee. Got the right jock, Joel Rosario, to drop back, save room along the rail, and make one big run. He's in the bed. Now for the turf, going to go with number three, Highland Real, last year's winner. Number five, Ulysses, last year's fourth place finisher in the Breeders' Cup turf. He's in the wager. And number two, Bullets Alley, freaked at 42-1 to one and won by 10 lengths. And the grade one Canadian last time at Woodbine, he might be legit now. He's in my wager, and he's going to be double digits. Now, the classic, one, Arrogate, maybe he's back. Number five, Gunrunner, maybe he gets 10 furlongs. Number eight, West Coast, maybe he follows Arrogate's path last year. Travis to Breeders' Cup Classic. And number 10, Pavel, maiden special weight winner in July, Breeders' Cup Classic winner in November. You're nuts, Bing. Maybe I am, but I'm putting him in. Here's the bet. Pick four. 5, 7, 8, 11, 14 with 5, 7, 11, 12 with 2, 3, 5 with 1, 5, 8, 10 for $120. Good luck with all your Breeders' Cup wagers. Hopefully we're talking about winnings on the flip side.